In lesson 11.2, we're going to talk specifically about similar triangles. And we need to know that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then we have similar triangles. This is called angle-angle similarity. Now remember, similarity is not the same thing as congruency. Similarity means that the corresponding angles are congruent, but it doesn't mean the corresponding sides are congruent. It means that they are in the same ratio. So make sure that you're cautious with that. And so what I notice is, from my diagram down below, that the 35 degree angle from the left triangle and the 35 degree angle from the right match up, as well as the right angle from the left triangle and the right angle from the right triangle. And because I know this is true, I know that these two triangles are similar, which tells me then that I also know that their sides will be in proportion. And what that means is, as I compare the side on the left, uh, the one that's between the red and the blue highlights, the side labeled three, that, uh, when it's compared to the one from the right triangle, is a three-ninths ratio. And this ratio should continue throughout the rest of the triangle. So the um, side that's from the red highlight to the non-highlight on the left triangle, 5, matches up with the 15. So 5 and 15 are the ratio comparisons that I'm doing from the triangles using those sides, the hypotenuse in other words. And then the last comparison, of course, would be the one between the blue highlight and the non-highlight, which is the 4 compared to the 12. And as you look at all three of these ratios being from because we have similar triangles, what you'll notice is that all three of them are in a ratio of 1 to 3. So 3 ninths, 4 twelfths, and 5 fifteenths are all a one-third ratio. And so once we know that two triangles are similar, we know that their corresponding angles are congruent, and that their corresponding sides are in the same ratios. Here are two more triangles and a different way to talk about similarity. So we just got done with something called angle-angle similarity. And we also have something called side-side-side similarity. So if all three sides of one triangle are in proportion, not congruent, but in proportion to the three sides from another one, then we know that the two triangles are similar. This is called the side-side-side similarity. And so what you do is you look to compare these different sides. And sometimes they orient the triangles in a very strange way to try and confuse you, so don't let them fool you. For example, if I look at the hypotenuse from the left, and I compare it to the hypotenuse from the right, that's the 41 over 82 comparison. I could also do it uh, when I look at the shortest side um, from the left triangle compared to the shortest side from the right triangle. And that's a 9 to 18 comparison. And then my last comparison would be the medium side from the left, 40, as compared to the medium side from the right, 80. And what we notice about all three of these comparisons is that um, we have a 1 to 2 ratio uh, for each side comparison. So I know that these two triangles are similar. And that would lead me to understand, if I wanted to bring this any further, that first of all, the uh, angle here, highlighted in yellow, would be the exact same measurement as the angle here, highlighted in yellow. And then that this angle highlighted in green would be the exact same measurement as this one. I don't know what they are right now, but if I needed to find one and they gave me enough information to, I would know that those color highlights would match up. So there are two ways to talk about uh, similarity so far, angle, angle, um, knowing that two angles from one triangle are congruent to two angles from another triangle tells me that two triangles are similar. And also when three sides are in proportion to the other three sides of a triangle, then I know that the two triangles are similar. So here, um, there is one more way, our final way, to talk about triangle similarity. And it's the side-angle-side similarity. 
And that's when two sides and the angle included match up with two sides and the angle included. Meaning the two sides sets are in proportion with each other and the included angle in between those sides are congruent. So what has to happen is what you see here, um, side four and side six are in a certain ratio and that ratio has to be the same ratio as 10 and 15. So left compared to left, right compared to right of the two triangles. And I notice that these both have proportion, or sorry, ratios of two thirds. But then in addition to that, you also have to see that the angle in between those two sides um, are congruent. So the two angles included are in congruent, and then the two sides of one triangle, the triangle on the left, are in proportion with to the triangle on the right, which means that the ratios are equivalent, or in other words, equal. So we have three different methods now for triangle similarity. So for triangle similarity, remember that's not the same as congruence, we have the following. Angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side. 